Your voice is very high pitched today. My, my voice sounds like this at multiple points in the day every day. It's called having range, man. Have you never spoken before? <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my mind. The name? Yeah, I mean, it did great the first time around. I love that. Is this really what the title says? This is, this is very straightforward. Also, if you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to the last time I played a Monster Prom game. I was trying to get into it with the robot on that one, and it uh, went a bit sideways for me. And if you want to check out the next time we're going to be playing a Monster Prom game, we're checking out the demo, the sequel Monster Prom 3 Road Trip on stream on twitch.tv slash quite at 5 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. EST tonight. I don't know when the game's going to come out, but I'm very excited for it. But until then, we got this demo to uh, mold ourselves over. If not, though, enjoy this video. Road Trip, yeah. They're fucking- there it is. There's the plug for the new one, guys. Monster- Monster Prime 3, already announced. I got my G Fuel, that's the only thing I need to be happy. I, lo I love how there's a piece of tape over the alcohol, so it's not alcohol anymore. Uh, yeah, all four of us are playing, guys. All four of us in this room are playing. I- I wish these individual player icons were romanceable. Ah, Camp Spooky. The stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You'll live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possible. Abilities. Life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. Uh, who am I? am I? Am I the same one as usual? I really I really fuck with this guy's little dudes. Yeah, let, let's keep it pushing. Spooky campfires just pack random. I don't I don't know what each of these does, so I'ma just uh, I'ma just pick a few based on my uh based on my personal intuition. Boot like Juan. I, Juan's gotta come with us. Very strong insect repellent. <laughs> I need that shit. Uh and philosopher stone growing kit, because I like anime. What are my pronouns? IRL. On the internet, they're he they in real life, you know, incognito. You know, you gotta you gotta be stealth. Okay, okay, okay. This is the important part, guys. This is the important part. This is the most important choice we're gonna make the entire stream. Close to last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening, just five weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so, a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson Jojima, 23. Badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. Aravi Mishra, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. I think this was the hunter from the first game, by the way. I know you guys wanted to fuck her. Calculester Hewitt Packard, my boy, V1.1. A library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. Dahlia Aquino, a buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering summer next. Damien LaVey, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Holy fuck! And Milo Belladonna, 23 question mark, a death reaper doubling as an internet influencer and who was oh, profoundly in love with life and all its earthly pleasures. Literally me. And so it was clear it all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Okay, guys, this is definitely- the answers we pick here are definitely gonna be important. My, Milo is very, you know, up my alley, I think. The thing is, I don't feel like I've been exercising the bisexual part of the bisexual uh, tag on Twitch. It's- it really has mostly been- it really has been mostly men. But st I'm not, I don't want to do repeats. Mods, can we get a poll between Dahlia and Milo? Those are the two that I'm picking between. Okay, oh, the, the votes are close, damn! It's looking like Milo. I- and I think it- I think it kind of fits, too. If I'm gonna- if I'm gonna get into a serious relationship with someone. I need I need them to understand what it's like being really famous and an influencer. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, I probably have more subs than him, let's be honest. Ah, uh, popularity is such a fun hobby, quite. You guys know that I have that in spades. I highly recommend it to anyone who is popularity challenged. The skills are simple and fun to cultivate. Just be livable, likable, a force of good in the world, and socialize with others. Is that a Gucci belt, or is that just two buckles there for no reason? I mean, of course it doesn't hurt to have a viral social media following and a face that loves the camera. Look, it's the fucking duck face. But I think we can turn you into a popularity sensation yeah, quite. I just- I just got literal version of ratio. We only had five weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. It's a long-ass summer camp, man. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Let, let, let's see what we're working with. Four smarts, five boldness, five creativity, six charm, and four fun. Okay, the woods, lake, camp, dome, manor, and scout HQ. All right, I'm definitely going to the lake because I like deteriorating flesh. Hey, hey, what do you know? Topical. That day at the lake, you start a super soaker fight that turns into an all-out war. Dude, I- like, you can tell how much muscle definition I have because the skin peeling back is still visible. After several hours, the enemy team surrenders and you gain two fun from the peace treaty. Yay! Holy fuck! Those are small. You meet up with Milo for an intense session of jazz appreciation, but your emotional moment is ruined by a big stupid jerk. Appreciating jazz, I see. Well, then I'm through with this camp. Well, when I'm through with this camp, the only music you'll be appreciating is a soft rock cover of Achy Breaky Heart on endless repeat. Gasp. You mean you're going to turn Camp Spooky into a dad's house? You wish you were that lucky. I'm an evil CEO after all. So I'm here to buy up Camp Spooky and turn it into a shopping mall. I'm an American. I love suburbia. What are you talking about? How'd you get so wealthy with so little business sense? No one goes 
to shopping malls anymore. Oh yeah, Hotshot? Well then where do teens go Where do teens go to to hang out with their friends? The internet? Real. We've been lurking on them Discord servers. Okay, but where do brands hawk their latest wares? Internet? Fine, but where, I ask, do you people buy useless gadgets they neither need or truly want in order to stave off the boredom of their empty lives? <sighs> Skyball catalog. Also the internet. I'll buy the internet and buy a shopping mall in it just to have to make a few calls. You know how the internet works? It's not an object you could buy. And is that a car phone attached to a sports car you don't drive? I'm not gonna lie to you. Having a, having a car phone attached to like in your car, that's metal as fuck. ASAP Rocky has one of those. It's so pointless, but that's how rich you are. True to his word, the CEO makes the internet even more of a consumerist wasteland than it was before. Also, he installs an Andy's pretzel somehow. No, my beloved internet. I was busy commodifying that myself. How will followers authentically connect with my brand when the internet is polluted with all those brands. So true. I this feels like a charm thing, because neither of these are particularly smart people things. Actually, no, this is creativity. This is creativity for sure. Just join for hoping for some robo titties. Sorry, we're trying to fuck a skeleton that isn't sans for once. Milo's heart changes color with their emotions. Damn, do their nails do too, because they match. There we go, oh fuck. Woo. It was fun for some reason, but I'll take it. You know, I never thought of it that way, but the internet really is too fast. After all, what of life's greatest pleasure is anticipation. I think you're really onto something here. I'll let the Council of Influencers know right now. Soon you're welcoming the first wave of users on your new tantalizingly slow internet. Milo hops on too. Wow, I've always loved the way the sun rises over the Atlantic Ocean. Now I can experience that same sensation just by attempting to load a JPEG of it. Did we know that guy? He didn't seem relevant to my brain, so I forgot all about him. This is actually how I treat all of my friends. They uh, aren't currently of use to me, I, I forget that they exist. Anyways, how about a relaxing night of waiting for Netflix to load and chill? Hell yeah. Technological advances soon return to the new internet to a regular speed, but you savor the moment and gain two creativity and one charm. Am I going to the camp dome or the manor? Dome? Yeah, big explosion, lots of limbs, love to see it. That day, you play competitive spin the bottle. You must kiss a camper from the camp rival camp. It's a long, intense kiss in which your tongues wrestle mercilessly. You apply some unexpected biting, since that's currently very high on the meta, while all holding ba the back of their head to prevent an untimely escape. God, I wish that were me. You win at kissing, it goes without saying you've earned two charm. Later, you're playing mega dodgeball against camp rival camp. You take a ball to the stomach pretty early in the game. You can feel your insides bleeding, because they're literally made of, like, toothpaste. But who cares? It all comes down to an epic level showdown of the two most muscular players on each team, Dahlia versus Morty the Minotaur. Fuck yes. Sexy challenger up here. Look! Look! Mark cutouts on the cheeks. Also, is he voiced by Markiplier? Listen, babe, you're hot, but you should surrender now. You can't defeat me. I gave myself a thigh massage right before this game, so I'm more limber, limber than ever. Bah ha ha ha, bring it on, Minotaur. I've defeated both men and bulls in battle, but never have I defeated a half man, a half bull, half man. Guess that makes me your first. Jesus Christ. Hashtag slay. Okay, this game, this game may be a little dated. Yes, Dahlia, you are absolutely seizing this dodgeball vibe. Make that ball work for it, you murderous cerulean goddess. Thanks, Milo. I completely agree with you. I am a goddess. You're a good friend for noticing. It's pot. It's impossible not to notice. Now fuck this sports game right up. I am a motherfucking dodgeball goddess. Yeet. Okay. They're, they're, not everything's gonna be gold, guys. Not everything's gonna be gold. Dahlia is completely hyped by Milo's cheering. She throws the ball super hard. It just misses Morty and crashes through the dome's roof landing in the woods. Guys, Yeet isn't a thing for throwing anymore. He's a he's a life-changing musician. There's a, it has a completely different connotation these days. You all decide to go look for the dodgeball and Morty comes along. He says that he refuses to leave a tense, sweaty duel unresolved. Rahaha, I have your ball right here, you filthy, naughty children. Since it fell into the forest, and since I consider this entire forest to be my yard, the ball is mine now. Watch out, you guys. Old lady is the Baba Yaga. That's not Keanu Reeves. She's a witch that lives out here in the woods. I'm an official coven witch. I know a fellow witch when I see one. How is it? How is he fucking moving like that? You shall never get your ball back. You do, you naughty children. I will use it to play with my precious kitty, Mr. Beanzo. This is totally unacceptable. I was streaming your dodgeball duel with my followers. They need to know how it ends or it'll be narratively unsatisfying. Motherfuckers thinking about the storytelling of the video? You're not algorithm focused enough, dog. Your friends need that ball back and you're desperate for their approval. Offer the Baba Yaga something too good to refuse. If you give us the dodgeball, we'll give you a fond memory to treasure forever. Easy clap. Uh, quite. I don't think the Baba Yaga is gonna want a frickin' memory. What are you saying, Mori? Of course the Baba Yaga will want a memory. Memories are the most valuable currency in the universe. What do you say, Baba Yaga? Hmm, fine. I shall return your ball if we all make a fun memory together. Now come back to my house, naughty children. I will not eat you. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I'm getting Mick Ultra Burn. You four bravely follow the Baba Yaga back to their house in the forest. It's super creepy. The house moves around on chicken legs and the smell is... Yikes. You spend the whole afternoon hanging out with the Baba Yaga. She bakes you all some fresh cookies and tells you tales from her life of witchery. Ah, the wisdom of generation. So that's why I always curse the innocent people walking through my forest. It teaches them respect. 
Not that your generation has any respect. Yeah, and you don't have fucking legs anymore, Granny. I am your elder, after all, and perhaps you disgusting children can teach the Baba Yaga something, too. Yeah, we could definitely grab the ball, Morty. No. I got the ball. I did. I just realized he's wearing nipple pasties. Not a nipple pasties. Fucking tube top. Complete. How did I mix those up? Victory is ours. Fuck off, you old, mean grandma. Yeah, his poses are so expressive, man. The person who studied the anatomy to drew draw this shit was having a good ass time, I know. Sorry, babe. No hard feelings, right? You all escape the house and run into the woods. The dodgeball is rescued. What a victory. Great work, quite. I know. It's pretty much all I do. Great work. And now that you've got the ball back, you ready to settle this minotaur? Oh, yeah, Dahlia. Let's loo this. Let me take off my pants for this, though. I need maximum flexibility. Holy shit. The dodgeball duel's awesome. Morty's exposed dick is awesome. You are so blown away by the exp experience that you gain two fun and one smarts. Bed time. Beddy bed. It's beddy time. Who who's the fucking moth guy? I want to- This guy, he looks really friendly. I don't know. He seems like- He just seems like a nice person. You happen upon Joy groveling in front of Milo. I'm pretty sure you've never seen Joy grovel before. It's kind of unsettling. Um, no, I am not groveling. I am posing a dignified query to Milo that just so happens to be performed on my hands and knees. That's like the bathrobe that every influencer has when they move to LA. Milo, please help me out here. I'm in the middle of a quick summer adventure that is just important enough to justify a full episode arc. And I really need to consult my dead ally, Rabaru. She's the only one who knows how to solve Una Vertica's eighth eye puzzle. Can you just raise her spirit and- I'm sorry, Joy. I would really love to help with whatever you just said, but I'm terribly busy right now with important Reaper business. Really? Because it looks to me like you're browsing Etsy for a new cloak. <laughs> I mean, why would you need a new cloak if you had this one? I'd never wear a different one. Which is important business. My uniform must be somber yet trendy. But the fate of monster kind depends on taking down Una Vertica. I really need your help, Milo. Don't you want to save the world? Hmm. At least two urban outfitters have been demolished by her nefarious plans, and she has her sights set on flattening the Smoothie King on 3rd Street. I don't know, I found some good- I found some good pieces, just browsing. Well, I've always been more of a Jamba Juice person myself, so I think I'll pass. Clearly, one of your friends is in the right here, and it just so happens to be the one you're trying to bone. You settle the disagreement! Milo, you can turn this into a whole thing, raise Ra Rabaru's spirit, and do a live Q&A. Joy, Milo can consult the dead for you if you support them on Patreon. Friendship is never an excuse to work for free. So true! So true! Oh, that's why they're not worried about the algorithm. They have a strong Patreon following. I get it. And it's pronounced Milo? I guess to know. I guess I know that now. Ooh, quite makes a good point. I didn't know you condone playing the friend card to get free labor, Joy. A discount at most is what you'll get out of me, bud. What? No, I don't. I may be the leader, but me, Faith, and Hope each equally split up the rewards we receive for our world-saving covet work. So it's like a worker co-op? We indie seancers and necromancers need to pay our rent too, you know. This is so true, guys. That's why you should subscribe to me on Twitch. Did you know if you have Amazon Prime, it's totally free if you you connect it to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime sub that you can give to any streamer every month. That should be me. I know you have an Amazon a Prime account. G give me five. Give me. Give me money. Fine, you got me. I'll become a. I'll become a patron. How's five dollars a month sound? Well, of course I'll be grateful for whatever you pay, darling. But five dollars will only get you the bronze tier. Yes, it worked. Thank you for the sub, Marbar. I'm glad I chose the influencer character to romance because I can make so many jokes about giving me money. Ugh. Fine. Here's the pledge money. Can you raise Rabaru now? Oh, didn't you read the terms and conditions? I can only do so many seances. And it looks like this month's winners are Milo Crackhead four forty five X Ghost Fetishes X and Joy. Johnson Jojima. What? No fair. The world is at stake here, and I'm your friend. Can't you make an exception for me? That's, that's like really a lot to ask, man. That's like really rude. All of my followers are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so this is who Dream got it from. <laughs> guys, every single one of you are my friends, right? All my followers are my friends, and friends give each other money, which you guys should really consider doing right now. It's not parasocial, it's real. I can't play favorites just because your seance would prevent- Is it seance or seance? Ugh, whatever, this has been a waste of time. I'll just bribe Polly with some distilled spirits to talk to Rabaru for me. Well, it's just you and me, quite darling. Oh, and ex-ghost fetishes ex's spirits. He wants- spirit he wants raised. What can I do for you, my darling patron? Oh, it looks like he wants the ghost of a leather daddy dom from 1860. Um, I don't, uh, feel quite comfortable doing that. I'm getting personal favors. You know, quite, since that slot is open, perhaps you'd like me to raise a spirit for you. I don't mind bending the rules for someone such as yourself. Nice. You requested the spirit of Mar Marquise de La Lafayette. History's greatest wingman. He did not disappoint. They called us darling? Yeah, I mean, it's progress. That could be just something they say to, like, every guy who gets flustered around them. Dude, he's got, like, a green Tommy Anna hoodie. That day in the haunted manor, you accidentally stumble upon a cult meeting in the hallway? We're literally all occult beings. How is this, like, a problem for us? The cultists are wearing terrifying black robes, standing over a bloodied body and chanting. Try to flee, but one of them shoes a shoves a flyer in your hand. The ink burns your eyes to read, but you manage to find the words, new recruits got healthcare benefits with same-day sign-up. What? Sold. You get a bunch of 
of new cultist buddies and your new insurance covers spontaneous boldness growths. Cool. You, Calculester, and Milo are enjoying wandering the hallways of the manor. Okay, what what is he using these glasses for? But where, where do they go? Milo is live streaming it because apparently that's the only way they know how to enjoy everything. Is this haunted room actually stretching or is it just your imagination? Hmm? Oh, hey, what are you guys doing here? Making Disney references. My analytics show that millennials love engaging with nostalgic content because the present is consistently horrifying. How about you? Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like I, my audience skews a little younger than millennials considering how much I dunk on them even if they don't deserve it. Is Calculester still voiced by Jacksepticeye? I don't know. I was looting the rooms for treasure when I found this strange rectangular prize. Sensors detect ancient technology. A video home system or VHS. I want to stick my fingers inside of it. Insert cassette here to see images. Calculester points to a VHS player located distressingly close to his crotch region. <laughs> For once, you decide to not be a creep and elect to put the tape in a nearby 90s TV instead. Greetings, customers and curse enthusiasts. What? What's that face? Thank you for turning into pot, tuning into Pazzo Pizza's newest, fastest, gr freshest guerrilla marketing campaign. We've seen how much our focus groups like this newfangled internet, and we're no strangers to the young, hip new fans. Get ready to pizza party like it's enjoy like it's 1999. Always with the Five Nights at Freddy's, man. Uh, whoa, fancy meeting you guys here. Did someone order a pizza or something? Oh, that's kind of funny. It's like a ring pizza delivery. Absolutely not. Moreover. Over, now my live stream is bound to get stricken down for all the copyrighted music you use in that shoddy commercial. Real! That's the realest shit I ever heard. I can't believe I'm going to lose perfectly good clout to in sync of all people. My apologies, friend pizza girl, but did you say cursed with spam? Should we bracing ourselves for an incoming canned meat assault? Uh, no. At least that would be funny, all in all caps, because it's a stat. What I think we got here is a totally lame advertisement curse. Now in seven days' time, we'll be subjected to nothing but Pazzo's ads until we eat ourselves sick with their pizza. Fucking Pazzo's taking all the art out of good cursing. See, it's I. I I like this the concept of this character because this is the monster hunter from the last game but the character you're romancing is the thing possessing her oh no they're individual personalities never mind I lied. I'm stupid. If I can't shake this curse, my Instagram feed will be filled with nothing but disgusting imitations of Italian cuisine. My reputation will be in shambles. I, I think I'm gonna- Oh no. Friend Milo, you appear to have fainted. Please regain conscious immediately. Buy a hot, hot pizza now. Convince ten of your friends to buy a pizza, or we will murder your family. No! Calculester! They got him! Okay, guys. I gotta- I gotta turn- I gotta turn down the, um, you know, the enthusiasm. I have to go back to being an apathetic and not enjoying my time Twitch streamer. No, the curse is already setting in. You need to fix this before you end up like the pizza girl. Or worse, you become too obsessed with pizza to focus on boinking your friends. Escape from the pizza's reach by practicing deep meditation on you till you transcend the material plane. That seems like smarts. I feel like Milo Span's probably the safest bet. <laughs> Error. Hypocrisy detected. Would it not be the same level of corrupt and inhumane to subject the world to Milo Spam when we are seeking refuge from spam ourselves? Oh, no, 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 Calculester. It's much different. You see, pizza is gross, and I am fantastic. Spamming people with a fantastic product is much better than spamming them with a de uh, detestable one. Also, I'm a celebrity, and therefore totally above reproach. Cancel culture is not real. <laughs> not bad. I'm already working on a prototype YouTube mid-roll ad that's just Milo pouring maple syrup on their collarbones for three minutes. Hey, speaking of YouTube mid-rolls, have them pour hot mozzarella on their chest instead. Trust me, you'll get plenty of sticks. Oh, thanks. Good suggestion. Wait, why are you helping us? Aren't you the one who cursed us? Hey, just because I'm the malevolent spirit that popped out of your TV screen doesn't mean I like my job. By the time you're done, Pazzo's ads are nothing but a bad, greasy memory. The consuming pizza craze has been replaced with consuming Milo. I should be the only one consuming Milo. Milo makes bank. They're already pretty wealthy from influencer stuff, though, so instead they bought you all two plus fun and plus one smarts to thank you for your help. Marshmallows. Man, these two like hanging out a lot, huh? Milo and Joy are sitting close to the campfire. Joy is looking supremely annoyed while Milo shoves their phone in her face. This should be good. Oh, hello, Quite. I've been showing Joy this delightful little quiz called Which Coven Member Are You? Do you want to give it a try? Do not humor them, Quite. This quiz does no justice to the actual trials and tribulation my girls and I go through as coven members. Okay, last question. What's your idea of a perfect first date? I think I'll choose a long romantic walk on the beach. It's a classic for a reason. Ooh, I got Joy Johnson Zojima. Ah, that makes so much sense. I'm such a Joy. What? No way! That's me! There can only be one. The proof is in the pudding. The pudding being magicquiz.com. Do you want to try? You know what? Fine. I'll take your quiz to prove that it's dumb and predictable and- Wait, I got faith? No, I'm not. I'm literally actually joy. Well, maybe physically, but in your soul, you are complete faith. You wear lots of black, you like animals, and saving the world. It makes perfect sense. Just because Faith and I have some overlapping personality traits doesn't mean that we're the same. Youch. You should probably step in and resolve this argument before Joy explodes everyone's eardrums. Teach Joy the importance of self-acceptance and help her to embrace her inner Faith. So true. What? But that's not the point. I don't have a self-esteem issue. I'm just not Faith. Uh, I don't know, man. That Pat speaks differently. Oh, Joy, you don't need to hide your true self from us. Quite is right. Quite is always right. We'll love you no matter what coven member you are. Joy, sweetheart, don't fight. This quiz is helping all of us reach into the depths of our souls and understand who we truly are. Personally, I near exclude 
exclusively use social media quizzes to learn important things about myself. Are you sure that that's healthy? Of course. For instance, the Myers-Briggs test helped me understand that I'm a debater. What the hell is a debater quiz helped me understand what a debater is? So you see, it's true that you're not actually Faith, but you may be the real Faith was inside all of you along the long. I'm leaving. Oh well, sometimes self-discovery is a long winding road. Oh, quite. Look what BuzzFeed just uploaded. These five questions will reveal your spirit pasta dish. I hope I'm rigatoni. I don't want to think about pasta after last video, man. Wait, which sauce pairs best with rigatoni again? You better Google it real quick so you can flub the question and end up as Milo Soldate. It just shows that true love is possible, all through the power of impartial personality quizzes. What'll it be? Oh, fuck. Guys, how, how dumb am I feeling like being? It's drinking time. Everybody here is 18 and older. We're going by British laws. I think it's supposed to be Milo, Milo, where you pronounce the I. They, the character themselves said Milo. I, I don't, it's like, it's going really well for me. I don't know if I want to risk it all. This is like the one time it's gone this, this solidly for this long. Crippling gambling addiction? Yeah, gambling is good for you. Ah, welcome, welcome. You new here? Don't fret. Let me explain how this works. I'll prepare you a drink. The drink of the day. You may choose- Wait, is that Juan, the magical talking cat? That's him! That's my fucking guy! You may choose to drink that one, but if you're not interested, you're lucky. There's a mystery box with a second option. Choose whatever you want, but I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth. I'm a wizard in training. For you to test my concoctions is somewhere between kind and reckless. So, get ready and good luck. Protein shake. What do you say? Will you take the drink of the day? Mystery box! I do love me some Call of Duty zombies. Oh, Take it. It's jumping up and down very excitedly, so it's, there's probably something alive in there. You know what? Fuck it. We're already gambling. Let's make- let's go all in. The bargain? The mystery box? So bold of you. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. What did I drink? Now you'll receive everything at a discount! Yo! Let's fucking go! Not sure if that's a good or bad thing, really. Let's go! I probably won't buy anything, but that's good, I think. No, hope you can stomach that. Happy trails. I got- I got a- I got a veteran's discount now, guys. Everywhere I go. Code military on every product. A gambling always pays off. You're so right, guys. Kids, remember to always gamble and put your life savings into it. It will double every time. It's always worth it! Slash J. You decide to write a heartfelt poem dedicated to your favorite things in life. Monster camp, the smell of rain, the bittersweet joy of watching the sun set for the very last time, and chicken tenders. Everyone is moved by your poem. You're pretty sure you can even make the nearby bears cry. You gain plus 1.99 creativity? What? Your therapist said you need to spend some time contemplating mortality, so hanging out with a reaper counts, right? Oh hey, I'd love to chat, babe, but I got a gig. Actually, why don't you come along? It's a lovely day for a reaping, and you get the privilege of watching me work. Oh hell yeah, watching Milo lead a soul into the afterlife? Speaking of which, I need to watch the finale of Moon Knight. I'm watching that after stream today. You follow Milo to a rotting corpse. No, wait, that's what the discount is? No, that's what the fucking discount is? No, I lose point one shit. Ugh, God damn it. Follow Milo to a rotting corpse where the soul awaits. Hello, little soul. I'm death. But just put the hood up and didn't change anything else. But you can call me Milo. Here's the bad news. You're dead. But the good news is I'm gonna take you to the afterlife. Let's go. Tis a tale of woe, of strife, of courtly ambitions for I... I was the Grand Maester to the Mur King. Huh, another dead person with a tail. They always want to tell you a tale. People just don't respect a Reaper's time nowadays, you know? I served the venerable Mur King as a Grand Maester. Days ago, the Mur King was attacked in his sleep. He survived, but became obsessed with the idea that the attack had been a coup. Well, that's another mystery. To this day, I wonder if... Wait, are you even listening to me? This story is gripping. You should be paying attention. Oh, of course I wasn't listening. That story was way beyond my attention span. I was trying to figure out why I can't download your soul to my soul transporter app. That's weird. What if I change the set? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. This better be not what I think it is. Hey, Grand Maester, by any chance, did you ever trade your soul to a demon? Trade my soul to a demon? I don't recall. Might have. Sounds like something I would do, but I can't recall the demon. That soul belongs to me, baby. Get ready for an eternity of Dahlia. Oh yes, it's all coming back to me now. Great to see you again, Dahlia. I forgot I traded away my soul, but I never forgot those bitchin' elf pogs. They were so sweet. Ah, such nice pogs. I was entertained by them for like four weeks. Then the next trend came and I forgot about them. But it was totally worth trading my soul. Oh my god, the shenanigans. I can barely cope. Sorry, Milo. I traded four whole pogs for that soul. I'm not giving it up unless you give me something better. I'm making a soul army and he's gonna be my soul, my first soldier. Shit. Looks like Milo needs to wrestle the soul from Dahlia's demonic grip. Bargain with Dahlia and get this sexy reaper the recently deceased soul that they deserve. I think probably the first one. Woo! Safe, safe, safe. An entire soul album? Whoa. That's gonna take contain like at least 30 or 40 souls at least. Let me see it. You whip out one of the 40 Aretha Franklin CDs that you literally always carry around with you. Uh, yep. She is a legendary soul harvester among reapers. That's why everyone calls her the Queen of Soul. The Queen of Soul? Shouldn't it be Queen of Souls? If she harvested a ton of souls- Oh wait, I get it. She probably just harvest harvested one huge powerful soul, right? 
Sure, yeah, definitely. In that case, I'm not gonna stick with one measly loser soul when I can have this whole album by the Queen of Soul herself. Let's trade, long live Aretha. Dahlia hands over her Grand Maester soul. Milo pops it in, and there's Eve St. Lawrence soul reaping tote, and you two enjoy a nice stroll while leading the soul to the afterlife. Since you helped them finish the gig so quickly, you two take the extra time to sit on a cliff <laughs> and hold hands. It's romantic AF. This atmosphere, it's calm, quiet, beautiful. I'm happy as peony in spring. There's a peony in spring, and the sunset is particularly a emotional today. I don't know what I would have done if Dahlia had kept that soul, but you were right there when I needed you. Goddamn right I was. You pulled out your Walkman and lean in for the ultimate romantic move. Milo hesitates but accepts the left earbud. That's the horniest one. Wow. She really was the queen of soul, huh? You spend the rest of the afternoon listening to music with Milo. It's tranquil and rejuvenating. Plus, Aretha's high notes are so powerful, they give you plus 1.99 charm and 0.99 fun. Fuck, dude, I'm getting ripped off here. I'ma just go to the dome again. That day, a fun and zany scavenger hunt awaits you at the camp dome. Last night, the counselors stole your organs while you were asleep, and you have to solve the scavenger hunt clues to get them back. Isn't that fun? No? Too bad. You get 10 evil from Dimitri's liver. You also find a very strange gland, and against common sense, you shove it up your nose, and it gives you- it secretes plus two charm. That, I hate these numbers, dude. They're so fucking unsatisfying to look at. A wild Milo appears. Your heart starts beating fast. Quiet, I've been looking around for you, and now here you are. In my clutches? Please put your hands on me. Sorry, and now that I found you, want to do me a favor? I've got a soul reaping gig today, and I could use a helper. Hmm, you're 80% sure this isn't a dream. You agree to help Milo. They'll lead you to a fresh corpse with a soul waiting right above it. The soul looks like a dope blue orb. I mean, they said it for- they said I was in their clutches, dog. Okay, what do you want from me? Milo or G Fuel? Oh, come on now. It's G Fuel above everything else. Let's be- let's be realistic, okay? It's G Fuel will always be my one and true- only one and true love. Let's not get it fucked up. I realize that you were literally contemplating infinity here, but please hurry this up. I have a very strict posting schedule to get back to. My followers need consistency, babe. You don't call- they should not call anyone babe but me. Looks like Milo's getting impatient. You can tell because they just tweeted, I'm super impatient right now, lol. A big farm upstate with plenty of room to run. If you've collected enough karma points, you can redeem them to get reincarnated, like as a sentient burrito or a K-pop star. Spring Trapper G Fuel? Uh, equally in my heart. I'ma choose bottom. <laughs> A victory! My lovely assistant quite is right. If we count your karma points, then you've got two reincarnation options. Sentient burrito or K-pop star. Reincarnation sounds amazing. I feel like I could get really good at life if I gave it just one more try. Can you tell me more? Of course. The K-pop star reincarnation package is one of our popular coveted second lives. You'll travel around the world, you'll hit the highest high notes, and despite everything you give up for the stage, I can guarantee that your massive devoted fans will make it all worthwhile. Dreamy, right? That sounds like the ideal reincarnation. I can basically guarantee that I'm going to pick that option. But tell me more about this burrito thing. Oh, sure. Nobody ever picks the burrito package. If you become a sentient burrito, you can choose which protein filling you have and you come with pico de gallo. I have one very, very important question. Can I eat myself? What is it with these games and auto cannibalism? Let me check the fine print. Ah, yes. Make me a fucking chorizo burrito. Milo snaps their fingers and the stole starts fading into a halo of light. I'm so happy, it sobs with joy. I'm finally going to be a burrito. I've never been so happy. Mm. Finally, God, that one took forever to deal with, but you really helped move things along. Thanks for being my little helper. What? They called me the little helper. Milo pats you on the head. Mmm. Head pats. Later that night, they pull you aside. Hey, since you were so helpful today, I got you a little surprise. Mila revealed a whole uh, dinner plate holding a juicy, delicious looking burrito. Yep, it's that burrito. I pulled a few strings. Up for a little dinner date, quite? You and Milo eat the sentient burrito. It screams the whole time, but it's still pretty romantic. Also, you learn that consuming a, merf a merfolk soul earns you 199 charm and one smarts. I do need some boldness, don't I? Let's go to the woods. As a Latino man, seeing you stay stuff in Spanish is funny. Yeah, I'm sure it is, bud. Laugh it up. Laugh it up. You take joy in other people's suffering. Dia the la yad na. I'm not, I'm not even trying. That day, you go on a hiking trip with a bunch of random campers. You live some weird adventures and share personal stories and secrets. You don't know their names, and they don't seem to have their own character models, but they reveal to you they're part of a different game. A survival resource managing one. It turns out they cannot perceive your character model. You go to the same camp, yet you're part of different games. This is deeply strange and makes you reflect so much about your own existence you gain plus two smarts out of them. So this is a camp, like this is a survival horror camp for no, regular folk, but it's a dating sim camp for monsters. This They apparently gain plus ten berries and plus two stamina, whatever that means. You're looking for a spot to chill by the campfire when you see two beautiful angels. Oh wait, that's just Dahlia and Milo. Oh, quite. Come over here. I'm giving Dahlia a crash course 
specialize in social media marketing and we can use a note taker. Now Dahlia, I completed an audit of their social feeds and frankly, I've noticed a lot of room for improvement. Metaphorically speaking, you're still in a digital cocoon and I'm going to feed you metaphorical leaves until you form a metaphorical chrysalis and emerge a metaphorical butterfly of new media. Milo, you're one of my most trusted advisors, mainly because you remind me of an owl. People with owl energy are very wise. But I don't get it. What does my hell Twitter feed have to do with my ultimate goal of conquering the eight circles of hell and declaring myself queen eternal? I thought there were nine. Dahlia, if you want to be queen, that means that your reputation is more important than ever. You have to project a compelling brand to garter political clout. For example, you're using Twitter to stand Ariana Grande and follow Liam's insufferable feed. But you could also use your Twitter to gain new followers for your army. I can use hell Twitter to gather followers? Awesome. I thought you could only do that by taking over territories with brutal crushing force. Let's do this. Make me a media butterfly or something. Perfect. I think it's time for a total brand refresh. How about we reintroduce you as a fitness influence? Fitness, uh... Fitness, uh, <laughs> uh, fill in the blank. You'll just have to promote protein powders two or three times an hour. Nice, and I can post about my daily workout regime, killing something bigger than me. I know I'm done when I'm holding a skull in my hand. Um, that might be a little off-putting to some demographics. Remember, we want to connect people with your brand. Yeah, how did you know? I usually harvest the intestines of my defeated enemies to crochet nuts, which I use to trap more of my enemies. Now that's relatable hashtag content. Okay, yikes, and a few levels. Maybe we should just focus on the basics. How about a regular live stream schedule so your fans can get to know you? Oh, live streaming. I I love live streaming my enemies. That's when you stream the life out of anyone by slowly draining all their blood, right? Guys, that's what I'm doing right now. Except instead of blood out of you guys, it's money out of your wallets. This is so awesome, Milo. I can't wait to pin my block list to my wall for some live streaming. Not only are these two not on the same page, they're not even in the same book. But Dahlia's book is probably made of flesh. Time for a suggestion of your own. Silent H in her name. Start planting silent H's here and there for no reason. People will be caught off guard. That's the one. That's how, that's how you build an in-joke with your audience. Milo seems intrigued by your idea. Mention that you even placed a silent H in off guard to prove your point. Mm. No way. Did you really? I didn't even notice that silent H. Wait a second. Are you guys serious? My name has a silent H in it? From now on, I declare that everyone will pronounce the H in my name. Never again shall the H be silent. Not to interrupt the passionate declaration, but I think it's kind of impossible to pronounce that H. Ask for me. Nothing is impossible to me. Dahlia. Dahlia is definitely pronouncing the H in her name, but she doesn't use a typical H sound. Instead, she uses a guttural scream summoned directly from the depths of hell. As disturbing as that as that was, I must admit I'm impressed with your quick wet quiet. Man, I am a commentary channel. <laughs> Wanna go listen to an entire album on my phone with me? My ears are throbbing in a bad way, and they're begging for something to cleanse my auditory palate. Some alone time with Milo? Damn, now your ears are throbbing in a good way. Score. Guys, I think I'm gonna skip this round. I don't wanna I don't wanna do this to myself again. Ah, welcome, welcome. You're new here. Don't fret. Let me explain how this works. This is wild yet simple. Selection of drinks yet hands come and go. There's a little to think, but this is still a game of chance. You to test my concoctions is somewhere between kind and reckless, so get ready and good luck. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know how this works. Oh, that looks like it could go well. Love potion number nine. I have not used the keyboard this entire game except to type my my name. This looks like this looks that nine taped on it looks fucking dangerous. Ah, the love potion number nine. The right way to get someone to like you is by being yourself and watching someone with whom you can match. The fast way is by drinking the string. <laughs> Hope you can stomach that. Happy trails. A little bit of malo in my life. That's affection points. Let's go. Oh, fuck yes. That day you find a mirror in the haunted manor, but instead of showing your reflection, it shows you an exaggerated evil version of yourself. I don't. Need alternate versions of myself to think about right now, dog. Evil you says you will never surmount your insecurities. Look at how perfect I am and look how flawed you are. Yeah, I know, thanks to my fucking Twitch chat. Counterpoint, many of your perceived flaws are totally fabricated by greedy companies looking to make a profit by promising to fix things you literally can't control. As soon as you say that, evil you shrieks no bloody murder and disappears. Nice, you gain plus two boldness because you're amazing the way you are. Later, you're enjoying that sunset along Milo, eating delicious artisan sandwiches and listening to music together. It's not often that Camp Spooky is so enjoyable. Oh, quite, isn't that nice? We truly are hashtag blessed to be able to sit back and enjoy life's sensual pleasures so deeply and without stress. Yeah, the only dating sim I've ever cleared is the dream dating sim, man. Holy fuck. That's, that says something, doesn't it? Look, what I'm saying is, I wish we could forget about setting goals and living by them all the time. Whatever happened to just letting life happen and immersing yourself in it? Oh, wow. Okay, you've got to try the sandwich, quite. Not only is it an amazing metaphor for my constant pursuit of sensual pleasures, but it's delicious. Holy shit, the sandwich is incredible. But you're sure you can impress Milo with something better than a Reuben? It's clear they love life sexual pleasures. What? pleasure would they love most of all. Mindful meditation, it's like creating the cheese plate of the soul. Eating ass seems like boldness, and that's my lowest stat, other than fun. You guys just say eating ass because it says eating ass. You, you're not even thinking of this strategically. You're so fucking pea brain. That's all you can think of. <laughs> but, but joke. <laughs> that's, that's all you can think of. God.
Christ, I'm so glad I didn't listen to you fucks. Hey, that's an incredible idea and an incredible metaphor. Please don't shout at us. Don't do things that make you worth shouting at. You're, you're, you're wrong. It is. This is important. It's so poetic and in a way so deeply accurate. It's getting so pressed. It's your fault. It's your fault, chat. You made me like this. I don't want to be like this. You made me like this. Now relax. Take a deep breath. I just farted. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Now do it again. Envision the air you breathe in as warm, savory, slightly buttery, like the world's best slice of aged brie. And envision the air you breathe out as dark, corrupted, like a rotten wheel of monster that was taken out of the cast too early. Imagine expelling it from your soul. This entanglement of souls has left you both feeling spiritually enlightened and also craving cheese. You gain two charm, one boldness. A moment of truth. Fuck, I'm just gonna go on my own. Guys, do, do I risk it? Do I, do I bear myself? I've gotta risk it for content, don't I? You know what they say, third time's the charm. You finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. A summer fling between you and me, you say? You know quite, when you're an immortal like me, you really come to enjoy life's earthly pleasures, like good wine or a beautiful sunset or the perfect aut autumnal filter to put over your outfit of the day selfie. But to tell you the truth, my absolute favorite earthly pleasure is raw, passionate, romantic chemistry. And you and I have got it in space, darling. Holy fuck. I would be delighted to be your summer fling. Oh my, oh my God. I did it, I did it. Oh my God, I fucking get it. Now I just need to date in real life. The last day of camp was dreamy. Milo took you to a natural hot spring they found hidden deep in the woods. See, that coat is sick as fuck. You can't tell me it's not. You two relaxed. Listen to music and fed each other some delicious berries you foraged on your way to the spring. Even in the middle of nowhere, Milo manages to make everything decadent. <laughs> I'm actually in tears. All right, time for the banger end credit song. Before we knew it, those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute, and it felt like an entire lifetime. That night, as we saw summer coming to an end, we all wondered what would come next for us. It felt like the end of something big. Little did we know, life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. And Monster Prom 3, available soon. <laughs> Broken hearts turned tragedies, sung for centuries, wild nights became epic treasures forever. Even today, I can still close my eyes, and I'm there. This is like weirdly nostalgic for some shit I never had. It's it's just like one of the, it's just one of those kind of speeches, you know? Oh shit, they got a full-ass animation? With all my friends around that campfire, so young and unafraid. You Yo, what the fuck? It, the ending's animated? Look at the little dudes on his shoulders. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna watch this whole thing. This looks sick. <laughs> it's real! It's real! Real life. Actually real. Real. All right, so thank you guys to anybody who came out to the stream and was here for the tension live. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, did you know you missed out? Because we usually stream these things like on twitch.tv slash quite on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and you could have been here live. I've been here for the whole emotional drama of it. Of it. Could have gotten yelled at by me on stream, but instead you, you have to get yelled at, you know, vicariously through a video. Kind of lame. Yeah, work on it. Show up here next time, would you?